Today I want to give another thought and, and let us start to unpack this idea of what it truly means to be a new creation. We believe scripture gives us framework, ideas that when we are saved, we become a new creation. It's not just what you're saved from, but it's also what you're saved to, what you're saved towards. And this is a huge idea. This is something that we don't often connect in, in, in our faith, that it's not just simply you know, pulling me out of a pit of despair and sin, but it's also putting my feet on a path that takes me places I never could have gone had I not made that decision to surrender my life to Jesus Christ. The scripture really talks about this regeneration of my spirit. That when I put my faith in Christ, when I put my, my trust in Him, and I surrender myself to Jesus Christ, it's, it's His way, not mine. It's, I, it's, it, it, you know, it's not my life anymore. I'm giving it over to Him that, that there is this regeneration of my spirit. And it's this idea that my old life, my old way of thinking, who I was pre-Christ goes away. It dies, it's no longer there, and I am born again as a new creature, a new creation, set free because of what he did on the cross for me and for you. When we become new, it's, it's this idea that we're never the same. That God has given us the ability supernaturally to reset our life to not just simply incorporate him into what has already existed, but to seriously hit reset, to start it over, to have a fresh start. And I just think that this is maybe one of the biggest disconnects. You have people who are Christians and they're saved and they're headed to heaven, but they're not set free. You know, you're trying to follow Christ. You're trying to, um, you know, you know, truly just, just follow him and let your life begin to look more and more like him, but, but sometimes we do things that aren't very Christ-like. And I think that that's the frustration. It's, it's I've, I, I've gone from lost to saved, and now I, I'm trying to become this, this new creation, and I'm trying to really follow Jesus. But there are times in my life, if I'm honest with you, where there is behavior that flows out of my life that's not very Christ-like. Just because I am a Christian and, and just because I am saved doesn't mean that some of those old patterns and some of those old hang-ups and some of those old ways of thinking have, have, have left. In fact, for many people, it perpetuates and comes with me, and I bring old ways into my new life with Christ. The, the, the plan of the enemy is to heap guilt, shame, and condemnation on your head. Get you to believe some deception about yourself. And the reason why that's so important is because what I believe about myself and what I believe in life informs how I make decisions and choices. So that, that's good or bad, right? So when what I believe informs how I make choices. So if, if I believe, you know, if I have a poor belief about myself and I have a poor belief about my past and a poor belief about the pain and the things that I've experienced, then I will make choices that, uh, that continue to keep that perpetuating in, into my future. But, but, but on, this, on the same hand, if I believe good things, if I believe and have an accurate understanding of, of what God sees when he looks at me, and I believe in Christ and put my trust in him, my belief in him enables me to begin to make choices that are good and choices that are different than, than maybe I've made before. But even though we've been lost and even though we've been saved, too many times there is an open road and an open path back to where we've come from. And when things get tough and things get difficult in our spiritual journey, for too many of us, we leave open the door to return to some old pain, to return to some, some old habits, to return to some things from our past that we should never return to because we are new in Christ. Following Christ was never meant to just make us better. It was never meant to simply improve the life we already have. Following Christ was always meant to make us new.